All right, guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, we can say it. We have a final on the 66 Mustang Shelby GT350H, and it's been a long time coming. Some of you guys have been around since this channel started, and this build has been going on off and on since this channel started. So I'm happy to say this thing came off the shelf and um, in parts, and now it's going to go back on the shelf completed. So without further ado, let me remove this box and I will show you what I've got to show you. Boom. All right. Let me adjust this camera. I don't think it came out too bad. I did tell you guys it's not my best. I had some issues with the clear coat and let me tell you a little bit about it. So I just recently started using 2K clear. So I'm learning how to spray that. I'm learning how to thin it and etc. So, uh, Guys have given me input like old Tom, Don Piggott, uh, Jimmy Ledford, etc. on how to spray this stuff. So I'm still kind of learning and basically learning what the airbrush likes and everything. So I laid it on a little bit too heavy and it left some orange peel. And once you use activator in this stuff, you know, this stuff gets rock solid once it dries. And I like it and it's pretty much self-leveling. I just have to learn how to uh, uh, spray it properly. But it didn't come out too bad. Uh, I kind of love the color scheme. You know, it's MCW finishes, Milano maroon, great color. And I use uh, Tester's metallic gold for the stripes. And I think it looks pretty sharp, you know, even even with all its warts. So, um, you guys know that originally I did the interior a nutmeg brown. That is a 2X color, Rust-Oleum 2X. And uh, if you could see in there, you know, it's all done up in there. Not too bad. Tail lights, testers, uh, stoplight red, obviously. Uh, some white for the backup lights. And then we went up here up front and we used the uh, Tamiya clear yellow. And black wash the grill, obviously. And uh, for the peanut gallery, look guys, it has the appropriate tack on the dash. And look, going further, it has the appropriate mirror on the side, guys. Those who know, know. Uh, it's a running joke. Something that um, I revealed in, in one of the live streams the other night. So let me remove this hood, which is a pain in the butt. And uh, we will take a look under the hood. So obviously we use the uh, Ford blue on the engine. It's got a red distributor. It's been wired. Now, the coil wire is there, but it's tucked away. I lo I lost a coil somewhere, so I have to look for the coil so I can put the coil in there, and then I can run the coil wire. So not too bad. Other than the warts that it has, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It'll make a nice shelf clean. The wheels were taken out of my parts box. I believe these wheels were taken um, from... The Monogram 1957 Chevy. You guys will probably know the kit. And uh, I stripped them bare and then repainted them. And then I painted the centers, the spokes, gold. Let's take a look at the underside. There's the underside. You know, nothing to write home about. But I don't think it came out too bad. The stripe, the top stripes are painted, the uh, metallic gold, and these are the uh, stripes out of the kit. That's the only thing I use, and you'll notice they're a little bit off color, but you know what? Nobody's really going to notice that on the shelf. So, all right, guys, that's all I really have for this. If you want to stay tuned, there's some stills at the end. And um, next up, the Mobius Nova Gasser. This hood is a bear. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.